Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Today I am going to be sight reading pieces not written for the recorder. Uh, why? I don't honestly know but I think it will be fun. Right, I have collected a bunch of pieces from different eras different styles of music for different instruments and I am going to try and play them. I promise I have not tried any of these. I printed it all off this morning and it's been so hard not to play them. First up we have the Passacaglia by Bieber. Not that Bieber, a different Bieber. Um, this is Baroque music, it's in G minor. I know the original piece, it's extremely beautiful. Well, the main problem I'm seeing already is that it's full of double stops. That's where you play more than one string at once. beautiful. I wish I could play it properly. Ooh, I know which bit I want to try. in the world I uh, just the harmony in the, and the double stops are such an important part of it yeah you can always do the but there's I don't know if that would get really tiring to listen to after a while so sorry Bieber for what I just did to your piece it's beautiful music um, fits the violin perfectly the recorder maybe trumpet music. Um, I have chosen the Brandenburg Concerto number no. two by Bach. There is of course a solo recorder part in this piece. It's such a recorder piece but there's a trumpet part too. The trumpet part is widely known as the most difficult piece of Baroque music for trumpet. this fits really well on the recorder. Um, this is a perfect example of things that are difficult on one instrument and easy on others. This kind of thing, it's just kind of relaxed scales on the recorder. Um, it's very playable. This would have been played on a natural trumpet, not a valve trumpet. So you're making a lot of these differences in notes with your lips. I'm gonna make it a bit more difficult for myself. Let's transpose. Modern trumpets are in B flat, that's a tone lower, so to make it more, I have to play it a tone higher. Let's have a go. <laughs> of it is either scales or 
arpeggios. It's quite easy to transpose because you choose your starting note and then you just go. Heading forward in time to the classical um, period, I have chosen a sonata for flute and harp by Joseph Bolognier Le Chevalier de Saint-Georges. So Joseph Bolognier Le Chevalier de Saint-Georges was actually the first black classical composer that we know of but of course, if I'm wrong on this, please let me know. He was a renowned violinist, composer and conductor. And aside from music, was also an accomplished fencer and the first black colonel to serve in the French military. So this sonata looks really pretty. Flute and harp is always a nice combination. I'm immediately seeing three flats in the key signature. This is like a typical flute thing. Not so nice for the recorder. <laughs> E flat. a little bit it always takes me a little bit of a second to transition from the baroque era to the classical era i'm going to try the tempo minuetto and i'm seeing a lot of 16th notes so i'm going to try the kind of classical instead of the baroque nerdy articulation talk those 16th notes but if you actually take a minute to practice it this works really nice on the recorder next one of you requested the third movement from Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata for piano <laughs> so I'm not expecting this to be pretty years ago when I was playing the piano my goal like my life goal was to be able to play this movement I have never reached that goal <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today is the day. We basically have really fast arpeggiated chords. If I figure out what these chords are, I'll try and play them. So we've got C minor. Oh, that's not even correct. C sharp minor. D sharp major. C sharp major, F sharp major. So here's the <laughs> <laughs> I've already said recorders don't really play in flat keys. We don't really play in sharp keys either. I mean, we don't really play in keys. I have been humbled. I'm always talking about how the recorder can play anything and we can play all chromatics and all microtones and I'm faced with a couple of, well, four sharps in the key signature and I've completely gone to pieces. Let's just get this humiliation over and done with. just saying about how some pieces work really well on one instrument and then they're just utterly unplayable on another. So the Brandenburg Concerto, the recorder wins. <laughs> the Beethoven Sonata, guess what? Moving on. Stravinsky! I could not sight read things by other instruments without trying the bassoon solo from the Rite of Spring. For anybody who's into 20th century classical music, the Rite of Spring completely shattered the ballet world. It was completely revolutionary in its time. It's an amazing piece of music. And it starts off with this bassoon solo. How hard can it be? I'm sorry, what? What is this clef? Um, so the C 
is on the second line. So it's like I'm transposing everything down a tone. Okay, my first note is this. Let's see if I can figure it out from there. <laughs> sound I can figure it out by ear that whole bit in the middle that suddenly went to like something some kind of flat note I don't know what that is conclusion bassoon music pretty fine this stupid clef not fine vocal music recorders actually play vocal music all the time especially in the renaissance and baroque so I thought I'd pick something which is a bit more challenging <laughs> The piece Strip City by Kathy Berberian in like a kind of comic strip graphic score form and the singer really has to act and it's as if you're listening to the radio and tuning between different stations. I'm going to try and emulate these same sounds on my recorder. necessarily be better than the vocal version but this could be a really fun exercise for students who are getting into making strange sounds on their recorder or being theatrical to give them a page of strip city and say okay make your own instrumental version of it for my next piece i was asking you guys on twitter which pieces you'd recommend and composer andre louis got in contact with me and was like i think you have to try my piece it's called Morning Incoherence. And for this, I'm getting my contrabass out. So I haven't allowed myself to play this piece, but when sight reading, I do go through and have a look at the score before I play. There are three things that I commonly do. One is marking the beats where they're not completely apparent. thing I do is mark in if entrances are on the beat or off the beat. Uh, the main theme also goes down to the E flat which I don't have so I'm going to put that up an octave. on the wrong beat and I might have improvised a couple of the notes. Oh this is awesome, I love it. If you want to hear more of Andre's music or also to commission him to write something for you, uh, you should check out his YouTube and his Spotify. 
I'll put the links in the description. And thank you so much for sending this, Andre. It's oh, I love it. Well, that's it. I've gone to the end of my pile of music. What have we learned? Don't play piano music. Which is your favourite? Are there any of them that you would like to play yourself or that you have played? I would love to hear from you. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. Over here is the Team Recorder web shop where you can buy all kinds of Team Recorder things. And up here is a video where I try and teach my husband how to play contemporary music. Have a great day. Bye.